Kevin McCarthy and his supporters which still make up the majority, but not enough to get him across the line to become a speaker. There's no limit to how many votes you can take here, but of course you are running out in a sense a clock because you don't have a working House of Representatives with new members sworn in. The narrative that the Democrats are working with is Republicans can't even get their House in order, so to speak, and literally in order. They can't get the House in order to get a Speaker of the House Put forward. One of the things that the Republicans have to get through their relatively thick heads is the fact that they need to work on behalf of the American people. They need to demonstrate competence against an administration, the Biden administration, that is totally incompetent. Kevin McCarthy has 85% of the support. If they were 240 instead of 222, he would be the Speaker of the House. He's not. Having said that, uh, Jim Jordan who is getting, a, you know, the, of the 20 votes is getting a, a number of them. He said clearly he does not want this job. Listen. Is there any chance that you may be Speaker of the House? No. I, watch yourself. Uh, no, I, I'm being clear. I want to I want to I want to chair Judiciary Committee. Um, I mean, you guys know I like I like this ability to cross examine witnesses and get the get the truth for the country. So let's say it goes a couple of weeks. And let's say at the end of that couple of weeks, there's still not agreement because 85 percent or 80 percent are still supporting Kevin McCarthy and Scalise and Jordan say they don't want it. The d nightmare scenario we came up with, which is 212 Democratic votes solid. Would they go with a uh, Liz Cheney? 100 percent. Yeah, that would be a huge win for them. So then you've got to peel off six Republicans, four of which voted to impeach Donald Trump. Would they go with Liz Cheney? They'd say, sure, we're going for a Republican. They got reelected, even though they voted to impeach Trump. Yep. So now you're too shy. You had 217 Republicans who, in their own caucus meeting, basically it was like a primary. They nominated Kevin McCarthy as their candidate for Speaker of the House. Now you go to a general election, and these started out with five. There's like 20 now. Republicans who say, we're not going to vote for him. It's like you're, you had your primary. Your candidate was nominated, but yep. now that the general election is here, you're going to vote with the opposite party. It makes no sense. It's chaotic. It looks chaotic on television. Yes. And it, and it makes Republicans as a whole to the American people, which, by the way, we were learned through the polls in the last election cycle that they didn't like the chaos feeling. Right. This gives that same kind of— That's what the Democrats are saying. So this is—we had the chaos candidates that lost. Let's be clear. They lost. Chaos candidates lost. And then the chaos candidates lose, but now the House is chaos because the Republicans can't get their leadership House in order. That's the real issue here. If they feel like it's between Liz Cheney and Steve Scalise, they'd rather have Liz Cheney. The Democrats? Yeah, of course. Not just because of the vote on Trump, just because she's more moderate. Yes. I mean, no, no question. Could you imagine what would happen to oh, your oversight? Nothing. Oh, it'd so be, everybody's be talking about you know, when, the, when the House gets in. By the way, every day that's going by... Will, our producer said this earlier. The Senate, they're going to investigate conservatives. Yeah. The Re Democrats are doing nothing. You realize that every day that goes by, nothing's happening.